we want to determine the possible numbers of positive and negative real zeros of the following function. Now, if you remember from Descartes' rule of signs, we need to know what f of x is for positive real zeros, but we also need to know what f of negative x is to determine our negative real zeros. So I have f of x. Let's go ahead and find f of negative x so that we can kind of do this at the same time. So to find f of negative x, everywhere there's an x, I'm going to plug in negative x. So I'm going to write that out first so we make sure we can all see what's going on. And then I've got 14 times minus x cubed plus 71 minus x squared minus 154 times minus x plus 120. And then I want to actually simplify this. So this is to the fourth power, so it's positive. This is to the odd power, so it's negative. So negative times a negative is a positive. Then I've got negative x squared, that's a positive, so it's still going to be a positive. And then I've got a negative times a negative, that's going to be a positive. And then I've got my number hanging out. So what we need to do now is we need to apply Descartes' rule of signs. So we need to see how many times the sign changes. Now, don't forget, you have to start with the very first term. So my first term here is a plus to a minus, so that's a sign change. I go from a minus to a plus, that's a sign change. A plus to a minus, again, that's a sign change. And a minus to a plus, that's a sign change. So I had four changes of sign. So there's four changes here. Now down here, let's do the same thing. Well, that's positive, so no. And it stays positive. And it's going to stay positive, look at that, all the way down. So here I have zero sign changes. So now that we've found out how many changes in sign we have for f of x as well as for f of negative x, how do we interpret that? Well, remember that if it is a number, so like we have 4, it's going to change in increments by even numbers. So I could have for f of x, there could be 4, and the next smallest even number is 2 and the next smallest even number is 0. So there could be 4, 2, or 0 positive real zeros. Now what about for f of negative x? Well, we said that there were no sign changes, so this one there is going to be no negative real zeros.